Yes, sir, you did. <laughs> I'll be on in a few minutes, just setting up the last part. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys showed up. <laughs> Let's hope not. Uh, I'm just getting ready, guys. I should be starting here in the next few minutes. I appreciate you guys coming by. Just doing some last-minute audio checks. Uh, most of the time, I don't even let it count down to zero.
in a few more minutes I'm gonna have uh, some uh, some announcements real quick so if you guys want to stick around or if you can't stick around for very long you just want me to stick around for the announcements and then we'll get to gaming There I am. All right, guys. Let me turn this damn timer off. Stop. Timer is off. Um, so this weekend, I'm going to be working on adding uh, some video game music to this. Hopefully, my laptop can handle it. I think it might be able to, but we'll see. Um, also, I do have. Uh, I will have a mini cosplay for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, that is my day. I'm predominantly Irish, so I will be having my. Guinness, of course, in my little green hat and have an Irish shirt on with my green uh, necklace. So that's St. Patrick's Day. Uh, we'll be playing a St. Patrick's Day game first of all, and then uh, most likely we'll be playing um, the uh, DLC to The Last of Us. So that's St. Patrick's Day. That's next Friday. Um, and I do have some surprise horror games that have come out earlier than anticipated. Um, and I will be playing those next week as well, but I'm not going to mention them. Um, but you guys know me, I usually post the games on Twitch the week of. I just won't say anything. So if you guys want to see all that good stuff, then uh, my Twitch schedule is the place to go. Um, I usually post my new schedule up on Sundays for Twitch. That's when I work out my new schedule. So just something to look out for. Uh, once again, St. Patrick's Day is going to be the cosplay day, um, and possibly Saturday. Uh, some good stuff is coming down the pike. So yeah, we got some good horror games, and uh, yep, don't forget we got um, Resident Evil Four coming out in three weeks, I believe. So yeah, uh, Fatal Frame does come out tomorrow supposedly. Um, here, let me show you right now. Um, uh, let me get down to it really quick. Right now it says pre-ordered. Um, I'm hoping a little after midnight tonight, after I get done streaming, it'll be in regular mode and I'll be able to stream it tomorrow night. That was my whole, my goal. It does say it does come out tomorrow. Um, however, on the Microsoft website, it says blank. So I'm just hoping it does come out tomorrow and I will be uh, streaming that so with that being said those are the announcements uh, the announcements for tonight and I'm gonna go ahead and start up Hogwarts and we'll see what other trouble we can get into tonight and see if we can get any more progress done I always worry about my audio. Always, always, always. For some reason, audio and streams are uh, just a big old mess. So I'm a 19, almost a 20. Not bad. So I'm ranking up there, just not as high as I should be because I don't play the game all the time. But it is a phenomenal game. I will definitely say that. Let's see what kind of quests we got open here. Meet with Deke. Okay, so we got to meet with Deke. Got to meet with Sebastian. And I'll tell you what. 
All right, so we got to check with... Oh, damn, that's a level 15. All right, well, I'm okay. I'm on level 19, so that should be okay. And then, what is this with the Shadow of the Estate? Let's go ahead and meet... Let's go ahead and meet Sebastian real quick. As far as I know, I think... Ooh, damn, we gotta do this little levitation thing. Uh, Levioso would be... Hold on. I don't think I have it open right now. There we go. Levioso! There we go. That might be... That might put me in the 20. Nope, still level 19. Oh well. It is what it is. Protego! Oops. Revelio. Oh, is there another one over here? Oh, there is. What's up, ghouls? Let's go over here. Miss the announcements. <laughs> I guess I did. Uh, I was just mentioning uh, St. Patrick's Day will be a uh, little bit of a cosplay. We'll be playing a DLC for uh, The Last of Us. Um, also, I've uh, got some good horror games coming down the turnpike. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we gotta follow this thing. Revelio. What the fuck? Lady, are you okay? What's going on? Are you on drugs? She is tripping balls, guys. Look at that shit. He sees invisible things. <laughs> All right. Have fun, lady. My God, I think people are on drugs in this area. Look at this lady. You okay? You look confused. I'll let you have at it. And have you seen how these protectors Could you remind me how the Dedalian keys work again? When you spot or hear a flying key, you're to follow it back to its cabinet. I didn't see it. Inserting it in the lock is the tricky part. I hope you follow it. I'll some. take a look again. If you open I didn't the cabinet, so. I'd love to know what you find, if anything. All right, so we've already talked to Nelly. All right, let me go back up and what I wish the? I teach the entire curriculum. Charms is the only class I can stay awake for. All Sharp right, whatever you want to do. All right, so the old lady's right around this corner. Let's take a looky, looky. No, no blood. She's all right. Off we go. Turbo. Oh, no worries. Hell yeah. I got it souped up uh, last game. I got an afterburner on that back of that bitch. Gonna add a little supercharger and 
me some fancy uh, rims and shit. Be kind of cool. <laughs> Surprised my robe ain't catching on fire. Ooh, what are these? Take those. Oh, no worries. I understand, Jumpsy. You are a busy lady. It's all good. Alright, back to the broom. It's called aerodynamics right there. I need all that stuff to make potions and shit. Oh, no worries. I hope you feel better, ma'am. Yeah, that was, that's kind of a rough patch. Well, I'm here for you. Maybe I can make you laugh. Or make you cry, one or the other. Oh, shit. Maybe I should take care of this area. Fuck it, let's get into a fight. Uh, I need to get all my red stuff ready. So we'll get this one. Oops. Then we'll get this one. And then, where's my fire? So what else can I use? Eh, that'll probably be it for now. <laughs> well, hopefully it's it's laughter. I'm about to whoop some orc ass, I guess. I think these are oh no, these aren't orcs, these are goblins. Alright, fuckers. Whoa! Boom, bitches! An utterly pitiful display. What? Oh, let your ass on fire! Oh no, you don't, sir. Oh yeah, let your ass up! No, you don't. I have the wrath of Thor on my side. Oh, did I fuck him up what already? Have in store for me this time? Uh oh. Oh, come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Ugh. Suck on that, bruh. Ugh. Oh, no, you don't, bruh. You are Suck on that. Ran rock to blame. <laughs> All right, Gen Z, just take it easy. Hope things get better for you. All right, well, I done fucked up some goblins. All right. 
right. Is there anything here of value that I can use? Or get? Pick up? I love, I love looting. Ah. Oh. There we go. Upsy daisy. There's a treasure chest. Oh, no worries. <laughs> I love the big boom. We like the cars, the cars that go boom with Tigra and Bit, and we like the boom. Oh, Tigra and Bunny, and we like the boom. You guys remember that song back from the early 90s? It's down here. Is there another camp down here? Oh, shit, there is. Oh, what's up, fuckers? When's my turn for patrol? Hey. I need... Hold on, let me get this guy. There we go. Alright, let me get back over here. Alright, broom man, let's go. I can't enter while mounted. That's some bullshit. I need to fly in on these motherfuckers. Cannot go in while mounted. Bullshit. No, I'm not, sir. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, you it's don't, sir. Eagle. Oh, yeah. Run, run. You won't get Fucked you up, sir. Woohoo! Uh, I think I browsed by it. I had the volume down too low. But yes, I saw it. I just. No. I did not listen to it. My apologies. Got a little too busy. Ooh, what's this? I tried to remember to do it at lunchtime, but yeah. My bad. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, what is that? What is that? What does this do? Do I put it somewhere? Does it go in there? And then that goes up? <sighs> All right, well, I need to do my my meeting. Turbo. Man, life is so much better with a broom. Especially a, a turbo broom. What the fuck? Is there something in the bushes over here? Alright, that's it. Me and you, sir. I don't know where the fuck you're at, but I'm gonna find you. Oh, there you are. Hey, sir. <laughs> I got mongrel fur. Let me go collect some more shrooms. 
Now I did do some corrections on my uh, notifications, so those should be fixed now. As for the correct times. And I am quite a ways away from Hogwarts here. Oh, what's up, bruh? No quiet enough. Stop it. I won't rest. Expelliarmus. Fuck you, dudes. Oh. Uh, the other guys didn't have nothing? Or some bitch. These rocks have seen better days. Alright, so this, that's where we want to be. Doo -doo -doo -doo. How, would it, how awesome would it be to have your friend come see you fucking flying in on a broom? <laughs> Floating in like Mary Poppins and shit. Come in breaking shit. Should I? You look so innocent. Oh, you're lucky I missed, bro. <laughs> Lucky my aim sucks. Off on another adventure, are we? Rebellion. Oh shit! There's a lock right there. What level is this? Let's, let's try this. Okay. Alohomora. I think I remember this. So this one until it vibrates. And this one until it vibrates. All right. Lock undone. Hell yeah. In here? Rebellion. That's it. That's it. Right, well, I guess that's it. Let's go ahead. Let's head on upstairs. That looks like someone's been drinking. You made it. Yes, Sebastian. Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former aura and refuses to look into it. Even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Oh, does it? Oh, damn. Bring that back the Anne sucks. I used to know. Come on. I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Alright, let's head on down. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time. Everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Well, hopefully it gets better. You know, if it's your internet connection or if it's Twitch. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Damn. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. Oh, gotcha. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! 
When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> There Hershey squirts or what's going on there? I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. No problem, bruh. Poor Sebastian. I will uh, check my inventory and see if there's anything I can upgrade. Yeah, I think it's a Hershey squirts. All right, let's look at her gear. I don't think there's anything more powerful than what I've got now. Yeah, so I'm going to stick with the fedora. All right, let's look at our scarves here. Nope. I'm good. All right, so we need to sell some shit. Where's he died before? This guy looks like he's selling some stuff. Hello, sir. I'm Bernard Indiaye. Hello, nice to meet you. Welcome. I'm Bernard Indiaye, and this is my shop. Is there anything I can help you with? May I see your wares, what sir? What do you have for sale? What are we in the market for today? Right now, I'm going to sell some shit, and then I may buy a feather or two. I don't know. All right, so. Sell. Sell. sell this thing too. All right. All right. So what do you got here, sir? What can I buy here? A jobber null feather. 150. You know what? I'll buy one of each. How about I do that? Because I don't know what these things do. Fine ingredients for later use, of course. Thank you, sir. You have a nice day. This does remind me a lot of Lord of the Rings. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. He thinks he can help Anne, oh, but nothing can be done for her. Uh, I understand you've tried everyone from argue. Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's to no avail. We have. My nephew thinks he knows better than the healers. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. <laughs> Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne. And the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalists' way. I understand. I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. Something tells I hope me you'll that's remember not... what I've said. Oh. Good day. I think there's I think there is a cure. And he's, he might be hiding it, or he might just be just stubborn about it. 
Alright, maybe I thought. Oh shit, that was their backyard I broke into. <laughs> yeah, there's always more to it. Let's go in and. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Hold on, I'm just gonna search your house real quick. Rebellion. I am such an asshole. <laughs> Just go around searching their house. <laughs> uh, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat your food too. Is there something else in it over here? Oh shit. Rebellion. Nope. Alright, so there's nothing left in here. Look at all that shit. Oh, so I, I do have the stuff to make some of this stuff. Are you alright, Anna? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. You know. Sebastian I would ask you on a date if, I, if you didn't have to go to the, the bathroom every five room. minutes. Oh, the common room. I adore teasing first years I'm just about kidding, spotting guys, mermaids I'm just kidding. through the window. <laughs> I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being at Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. <laughs> Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. Maybe he's I a loyalist. Say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. You can just Perhaps you can help suck him to it out of you. Uh, right, I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Not a Thank very you. argumentative guy. The search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. All right, so you. I wish you well. I you, ought to you see how Sebastian's our... faring. I have a little weird question. So, she lives here with her uncle, but there's a little bit of a problem. Oh, never mind. Evidently, they have curtains. So I have curtains and two beds. I thought there was only one bed. I was like, um, that's kind of fucking weird. All right, let's talk to Sebastian again. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. <laughs> hey, these Harry Potter mans, these Harry Potters can get kind of dark. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow. Always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. Don't I, I look like a doctor? I refuse to believe that. <laughs> Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Right, Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. 
All right, let's go, bro. Run faster, quicker. I ain't got all fucking day. Is from Hold going up here. Nope. The state. Hold up. They've been digging. I'm going. I just had to light some shit on fire. <laughs> Don't fuck them dummies up. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This oh, way. Let's go fuck some dudes up. I'm ready. I'm ready for battle. Hold on, there might be some treasure or some shit. I'm a belly Expected to dig through this rubble. Ramrock knows what he's doing. Listen here, bitches. Be a part of it. Only good wizard is a death belly on my book. Uh, oh, blow some fucking dudes up. Oh shit, you fucked me up, bruh. Oh shit. I have the power of Thor! Where are you at, bitch? Fringo your ass. How about that? Incendio. Losing your strong. Confringo. Protego. I confess. That was a bit more than I bargained for. That was a one hell of a fight. Treasure chest over here, asshole? No. I like that fight. That was some good shit. Revelio. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree <laughs> more. Ass whooped. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. 
It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. I've heard goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. I think they're looking for treasure. Whose home was this? A bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Revelio! Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. Uh. Uh. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Revelio. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Revelio. All right, got some more stuff over here. to get this this well looks familiar Sebastian I've seen this before this house the well the view what do you mean when give me a moment I'll explain in a second oh this is the dream with the girl all right so I go back over here Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library. I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. Yep, if I didn't you got know the story. You, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Akio! Uh, I need Levio, so. Alright, hold on. 
There you go. Huh, a stairwell. Revelio. Oh. Well, it looks like we're going down into the abyss. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. It tells me they're after something bigger. Hey, hey, hey. The fuck? Keep your little paws to yourself. A journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Alright, so two is seven, so there's seven of them. Rebellion! Alright, well, are we done here? Go. Another secret. Hey, stop it! You're not going to believe this. I can see the undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. I know it sounds strange, but honestly, I nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it and that you couldn't wield it. That's true. And I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait. We can get straight to the undercroft from here. He did it. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. Sebastian ate way too but many beans. Perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Alright, here we go. See, see what this does. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. A triptych here. Seems as if something's missing. Revelio. A note. Let's have a look. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. 
then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Better not. Did I mention that apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts? You did not? Is it connected to our common room? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. This is breath. Alright, I do need to get back to my room. Revelio. There's another chest over here. Go to the astronomy wing. I'm gonna go identify these pieces and then if they're not good, we're just gonna sell them. And then I'll come back and get back to another quest. Yeah, let's go ahead and get downstairs here. And our room should be right here. Deke. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Well. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. <laughs> Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class. That I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. All right. Hold on, I need to upgrade some of my shit. It's a level 20, but it just drops me. I think I'll stay with what I got at the 19. Nope. Bad stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna sell it all. sell stuff because I may get more stuff on this trip so I want to sell 
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I just need to find a store. I should think a house elf doesn't work as hard as me. It's leading me out. I don't want to do that. I want to go the other way. Go this way. I simply pretend. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Maybe. What can I do for you today? I need to sell my shit. Wait, why didn't I see that before? Hold on here, sir. I hope to see you again. I need to upgrade. Well for now. What can I do for you today? I'm here to sell stuff. All right, so what do you got? What do you got for sale? Troll bogies. to see you again. Farewell for now. What is this? Focus potion. So I need focus, invisibility, and thunder brew. All right, let's see what this guy has. What can I do for you today? I'll buy that. A wise decision. Thank you. Buy that. And I'll buy that. So now I have about one of everything. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Yep, there we go. I have just about one of everything. All right, moving on. <laughs> yep, scare me like that. Okay, back to our private room.
Okay, so let's talk to Deke. Where's Deke at? Deke! Where you at, Deke? Where's Deke? I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. himself in service of the cruelest wizard he ever met. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. Okay, we got little fluffy guys over here. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puffskeens nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puffskeen, and in it'll go. All right. All right, knapsack. So do I have to select it? I do. Right, so... Oops. There we go. All right, let's go. Let's go to it. And move. You got one. Sucked it right on up. Okay, so is that it? Oh, we got something over here. Oh, hey, go. Oops, my bad. I didn't mean to light your ass on fire. Boop. Professor Howard will never believe this. Okay, are there any more little rolly ball things? <sighs> Where you at, bros? Oh shit, my bad, my bad! Oh no, you don't. Oh. May need to use a spell or something on him. Got that one. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. All right, let's talk to him. I managed to rescue a puffskeen. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puffskeens, and well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puffskeen. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A job and all, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. All right. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Oh no, 
nice to see you, my young friend. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobanals are just here, in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Then I shall go and rescue a Jobanal. Right. Good luck. Let's try Deke it. will be waiting. So let's go here. Just let me also add. This should be this one. Alright, so let's go on over and. Let me also. Oops, my bad. Oh fuck, I c oh. Got it. I thought I killed it. <laughs> I can fringo that shit. Hey, press the wrong damn button. So, I forgot the signs for male and female. Is that a male? I rescued a Jobanol. Deke hopes your Jobanol finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers, and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this way. It's a path. bird. Deke will see you there. Alright, so we need to use the broom a jabbernacle whatever they want to call it <laughs> got some weird ass names for these things hello Deke is this the clearing you mentioned it is. Moon carbs gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall. Oh, to it adds see more them. protection. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. That's the only reason I'm wearing it. Until I get something more powerful. So Change the day. Yes, protection. <laughs> I got two talent points. I think 
think I've upgraded what I can here. Nighttime, let's go rescue one of these bitches. Mooncalf. Oh, Mooncalf. Got one. Settle yourself. Woohoo! Oops, my bad. Oh, now he ran. Now. I'm only trying to help. Come here. Don't make me light you up, bruh. Get you, bro. Couldn't bring up. No need to be difficult. I mean, you know, harm. Let me also. Couldn't bring up. All right, I got another one. believe this that's enough i just wanted more practice i keep fucking lighting them up <laughs> hold on things. Can I, can I rest? come here stupid deer i'll see if i can rescue you Aha! Couldn't bring them. Oh, 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 I'll rescue that one. No, you don't. Ah, damn it. So I can't res I can't rescue a deer. Deer, you're on your own. Uh, yeah, there is. There's out more in the country rather than the city limits. Where I live, we see a lot of coyotes and. It was a bit trickier than the others, but as as I have a moon now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. I want to snap my fingers. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the map.
Let's head on down here, go to our secret room. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. My room? But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do Pooping at all. Pooping and trying to eat all over the place? Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm. Hmm. What exactly did you think of? A greenhouse? <laughs> oh no. Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Never mind. No. Actually, perhaps another time. There we go. It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Yes. But speaking of care, Beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as pubskeen hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. I've collected some magical materials, Dee. Now, Dee can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. Oh, an here enchanted we go. Another, loom. Exactly. another spell. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with As the loom now. As in Fruit of the Loom? Alright, so let's try to pet and feed it. All right. <laughs> fruit loop. <laughs> kind of does look like a fruit loop, don't he? All right. I need to get the fuck out of here.
I don't have anything for this at the moment. Thanks for those. So. Contra an enchanted loom. Right. My bad. To conjure an enchanted loom from the looms. All right, so what did he provide? I need to conjure an enchanted loom from the spellcraft. sure what he an enchanted loom there's nothing that it says enchanted loom I mean I don't know what I'm looking for oh RJ Alcatraz with the raid of four. How you doing, sir? I appreciate the raid. How you doing tonight? Thank you, everybody, for coming in. We are currently playing Hogwarts Legacy on the Xbox Series X. Uh, it's going pretty good on my end. Right now we're trying to figure out how to cast a loom spell of some kind. Trying to figure this, this thing out. I need to con conjure spellcraft that Deke provided. Alright, where the hell's Deke at? Will he tell me? What did you ask me to do with my magical materials? Use the spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. Then you'll be able to weave your magical materials into your clothing. Come back to Deke once you've enhanced a piece of clothing. Use the spellcraft. 
Is it one of these machine things? This will be more useful when I have something to identify. Is it this thing? I don't know what it's asking for. It says use the the spellcraft. What is it? I mean, what am I missing? What is a spellcraft? Oh, no worries, Alcatraz. I'll be up until midnight tonight. Um, be quitting in about 45 minutes. Let me talk to him again, because I, I don't understand what that is. What did you ask me to do with my magical yeah, materials? I, I don't know what a... Use the spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. Then you'll be able to weave your magical materials Conjure into your clothing. Come back to Deke once you've enhanced a piece of clothing. Okay, so let me let me look here. I I don't have anything here. Look at inventory. All right, but it wants me to do it here in this room. Resources? Oh, room of requirements, my bad. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Is how to cast it, because it wants me to do it here in the room. Got things that are locked. Otego. magic throw there's still nothing that yeah yeah long time ago I've but yeah I've, I've actually been in this is this is the room of requirement right here What did you ask me to do with my magical materials? I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I just have no fucking clue how to do this magic stuff. You'll be able to weave your magical materials into Use your clothing. The spellcraft. Once you've enhanced a piece of clothing. All right, so maybe I can just go to my clothing. I, I mean, I, I'm sorry to be so clueless about this, but. Maybe, all right, let's try the hat, maybe? Oh, let's go here.
No upgrades applied. No, I can't do it from here. Huh. Yeah, I, 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 I really don't know how to conjure it and enchant it loom from the spellcraft. What what is a spellcraft? Hold on, maybe all right. Maybe I create something here. Hold on, I have an idea. So here, and then we create. Okay, there we go. Uh, enchanted loom. There we go. Alright, so where are we going to put this bad boy? So let's put it right... Shit. I guess I'm just going to put it right in the middle of the room. Here, let's just put it right here. There we go. We'll put it right there. <laughs> yeah, I got it. All right, so now I come over here. Okay, so interact. Let's enhance... Uh, Try this. No. Oh no, I don't have enough. All right, so I can update this one. This is defense. I can upgrade. This is defense. Oh, so I could do it. Actually, I could. Looks like I might be able to do a few upgrades. take a look at this all right let's start off with this guy ah there we go okay all right I can't upgrade anything more all right, so I've up, I've upgraded my shit. What did you ask me to do with my magical materials? Use the spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom, then you'll be able to weave your magical materials into your clothing. Come back to Deek once you've enhanced a piece of clothing. Okay, so I've enhanced it. Now what do I do? already upgraded so it won't let me do anything else
Maybe I have to put it on? Okay, well, it's it's done. Hold on, can I upgrade the... I just don't know how to turn it in. So I've, I've, I've upgraded. So what do I do now? I, I mean, there's nothing more I can do. Upgraded two things, and it's it's tell telling me to do it. Use the loom to upgrade your gear. I've already upgraded. So from there, I mean, I've added the trait. Have him on right now and so when I when I talk to him he tells me the same shit what did you ask me to do with my magical materials use the spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom then you'll be able to weave your magical materials into your clothing come back to Deke once you've enhanced a piece of clothing okay bro I've enhanced two things already so what do I do Try the inevitable. I'll go back in. I got the achievement. Okay, yeah, I got that part. But, I mean... I, I can't upgrade anymore. I've already upgraded. What, I mean, what do you want me to do? Is there press A, press B? I mean... <laughs> I don't, I, I really don't get it. I mean, I've done everything it's asked me to do. I've, I've upgraded this, I've upgraded that. I can't do anything with this. And I can't do anything with this. I don't have enough stuff. Add a trait to an item of clothing. I, I've done that. Revelio.
I don't know if the game's glitching or what because I've, I've, here, look, here's, here's the achievement right here. Upgrade a piece of gear. Black and white. There it is. I mean. <laughs> All right, let me look at quests. I mean, maybe I can. No, it's still saying add a trait. Add a trait to an item of clothing. Oh, maybe I gotta add one of these things. Okay, so this is the trait. Okay, so let me try this one. Oh, I'm missing an ingredient for that one. All right, so let's try this one. Nope, I don't have enough for that. Maybe I just had enough for one. That came out nicely. All right, there I we go. I should show Deke. All right, so there's two there's two separate things. So there's upgrade, and the other one was resource or uh... here. Hold on, I'll show you. So I go here. So when you do this, it's upgrade and then Y is trait. So you can up so I thought upgrade was doing that, but it's two separate things. So I can upgrade and do traits. And it wanted me just to do a trait. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more yeah, powerful it's, it's, magic into my clothing? I thought it would do two you will, at the same rescuing time. rescuing even more powerful beasts. Oh, well. For now, however, Deed suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. Okay, so we got that done. So now, hold on. Maybe we should do another assignment. Let's try this bad boy out and see where we can go for this. Meet me near the ruins of Falbatan Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. Man, all these secrets. Fire a use venomous. I don't think I have that. Nope. Let me see if I can make it. Venomous, whatever. Uh, where's my potion? There we go.
Nope, I can't even make it. Acquire and use Mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously. That we can do a little later. You should be proud of all the. All right, let me try that one a little later. Let's check. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. I should take another class right now. So, upstairs. Oops. I think I want to go this way. Alright. Let's see what this class is all about. reading is the dragon that's exciting i suppose tarot cards perhaps you're due for an adventure ladies professor shah astronomy is not divination you won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight, we will be on the observation deck. All right. Let's see what we can find. Still don't have your own. Oh. You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. What's up, bruh? Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. <laughs> I, he probably is. All right, so let's uh, focus. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, That's homework. it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? I guess. <laughs> Dismissed. All right, so I focused. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? That is affirmative. I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. Oh. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it? You I mean assume? the Telescope I mean, 5000? Of course you have. <laughs> it's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I. I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. 
Come find me there afterwards and yeah, some bring the telescope. Reading, reading. There's something I want to talk to you about. What kind of reading are you doing, sir, that, that requires you to be in private? I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. Alright, so we need to go downstairs to a storage room. Uh-huh, yeah. He needs to uh, catch up on some uh, reading. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's some, uh... The perfect night for... Oh, hello again. Some pictures. <laughs> Amit, where did you say that telescope was? Sitting in the storage room beneath the top deck. Look for the smaller set of stairs on the main observation deck. Thank you. Of course. Hurry back once you've found it. All right, well, back here. Oh, down here. I didn't see these stairs. There we go. All right. This there it was is. This is old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. Oh, we're going to light that bitch up right there. Couldn't bring her. Boom. Professor Shah, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. I'm it sure is increasingly are. rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? Uh, here you go. Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar. The other is mere lunacy. Damn, she got her opinions, don't she? <laughs> well, I'm not sure if uh, you mentioned astronomy I want her adjusting my telescope. Class. What were you talking about? Long ago, devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying constellations near and far. For centuries, Mr. Thakar is adjusting his telescope at the moment. Astronomy tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. Now I, the Phantom of the Opera, will take off. I bid good day, ma'am. The perfect night for... I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> yeah, you would. But there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. Really? I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need help and finding it, right? you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. Stone I'll show you spit? how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. Uh... Sounds exciting. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? Let's do it.
The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Centaurs, huh? Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. Holy jumping mushrooms, Batman. Here, it's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. If you're sure. You're creepy, sir. Our meet. Could I ask you something? Oh, um, certainly. Where is the table? Where precisely is the table we're looking for? According to an old astronomer's chronicle I found in the library, <sighs> it may be somewhere along the castle wall. Why are you so fascinated with stars? I suppose because there is so much to learn about them. I mean, there is plenty to learn about a lot of subjects, but astronomy seems limitless. Always something new being discovered. They are forever discovering new moons and stars. In fact, they discovered a new planet just 50 years ago. Actually, that's all I wanted to know. <laughs> oh, very well then. <laughs> Sorry, I'm tired of your shit. <laughs> Rebellion. <laughs> all right, so somewhere along the wall. Oh, I think. All right, I think I may have found it. Hey, I'm I'm, I'm going. God, calm down. Revelio. All right, so it's beyond these doors. Hmm, a little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Of course. It's just not as tidy as I expected. Okay, so it looks like we need to lift those and go through. So I need Levioso. Right? Oops. Let me answer. Mm. All right. Nope. That's not the spell I need. I need this one right here. Back here. Goodbye, boxes. Rebellio. Oh, here, I can burn this. Incendio. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, Not yes. This close to school, I mean. There are some spiders, all right. Look, there's the table. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I think I got it. Right there. Got it. I was right about the tables. 
They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. I look forward Thank to Thank you, it. Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope, don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. Yeah, it next thing I know, I have a, like a $2,000 bill added to my account. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Um, anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. All right, astronomy class has been completed. So let's go back to uh, the room, and I'm going to go ahead and save for the night. Hogwarts. Bing, bing. I don't think I have anything... Well, you know what? Maybe I should sell my stuff first. I'll sell my stuff and then I'll save. It's just so I'm prepared for next time. I think I'll be playing this the end of next week, I think. Alright, so where I want to go... It's probably right in here. You're back! Nice to see you again. What are we looking for today? I'm just here selling some stuff. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Hmm. That's, that's weird. I thought I had more stuff. Oh well. Alright. So let's go ahead and head back to the astronomy tower and save there. Actually, I think it's going to save right here, if I'm not mistaken, and I can go ahead and... Nope. No save. So I'll just go in my special room. that book at all right so let's go ahead and save it all right save is complete Alright, so that will be it, and unfortunately I only have two people in here, so I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. Uh, this is just my personal preferences, and uh, I don't send raids under three people, so I'm just going to go ahead and end it for tonight. Yep, I appreciate you coming through, Ghouls, thank you. Yep, thank you, Chillin'. I'm glad we figured out how to do some stuff. Uh, it's always good, I mean... I think every single day that I've tried to play this game, I've learned something new. It's actually pretty pretty cool. 
So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, um, now tomorrow I should be able to play uh, the new Fatal Frame. So, uh, that'll be the start of the good horror, the good horror week. And then, uh, yeah, next week will be some more stuff. So be prepared for a good lineup. Um, and then we will play playing sp um, some more um, Hogwarts a little bit later on in the week. So anyway, all right, guys, I'm going to call it a night. You guys have a great night, and I will see you tomorrow night at 10 p.m. for some Fatal Frame, hopefully. Um, I'm going to check it tomorrow morning before I go to work to make sure to see if it's uh, at a pre-ordered status. And then we'll go from there. Have a great night, guys. Good night.